Okay. When you see a guy like this, you know you're gonna run into a turtle position, a turtle guard. So I'm gonna show you guys a move from that position. All right, so we've gotten here and the guy's turtled up on us. A lot of times this happens when the guy, when you're, maybe you're passing the person's guard and you get there and he starts to roll here. And if you don't do anything to get past this, he'll sit back, boom, back into your guard. Okay, we're back into his guard rather. And it can be a frustrating position. But if you have some good techniques from there, it can be a good position. Because again, he's exposing his back. You can either take the back or you can keep working. Now, we're in here, so we have an actually advanced position. So if he sits back, if we're doing a tournament, we get no points. And if just rolling, we don't ever get, you know, control of the dominant position. So we want to have something. Now, a lot of times, everything is focused around getting to the back, which is fine. You know, taking the hook, throwing the other side off, getting the hook, whatever. But a little technique. So in wrestling, right, the goal is to pin the person get him onto his back. Okay? And, and sometimes that can throw a guy off. He's not ready for it. Maybe you get a guy who's doing a very good job of keeping his elbows in, and you don't have very, you know, big gap to put your feet in, or you can't get him off, okay, to the side. Here's what we're going to do. We're gonna take our hands. So again, position is important. We're gonna be hip to hip, and his foot's pressed so I can be against him. Again, this is not the only way you can hold turtle, but this is one way to do it. You're gonna take your hand here on the side. And again, it's always very important that you don't go too wide as to leave your elbow right here so we can hook and roll you. In wrestling, call it Peterson roll. This hand, we're gonna take this hand and we're gonna cup the inside of his thigh, okay? In wrestling, you do a spiral ride, right? Where you can flatten the guy out to get ready to pin him. In jiu-jitsu, you can use it to control a little bit. One of the things that it does, is, which is really nice, is if this guy tries to roll forward to this shoulder here, right here, it gives you a little control where you can pull them to the side, okay? Instead of the typical, which is you're just hanging here in this position, the shoulder rolls back here, and now we're back in the front, okay? But again, a lot of people want advanced position. We don't want to wait for this guy. So something you can do, again, maybe you don't feel comfortable trying to go for the back position for whatever reason. We're gonna flatten this guy out into uh, side control. So what I'm gonna do is I've got this inside grip. This hand over here is simply gonna position and we'll show the video in just a second. I'm gonna be grabbing his hand, cupping his elbow, doing something to stop this hand over here from posting. I'm hip to hip, and when you do this, when you're uh, playing around with the move, Bump the hip a little bit. Get used to this. This way you know you're connected. We're gonna push, and then we're gonna scoop and lift. So you can see he's kind of teetering over, and then continue to scoop and pull. From this side, okay, he's here. You could either try to take the back here, right, which might be a better position, maybe you're better there. Or if the guy's very squirmy, you know, a uh, very, you know, uh, mobile guy, sometimes you just simply wanna flatten him out and get control of him before you try to move anywhere else. Okay, so from here, we're in this thigh, we've got him on his side, we're gonna transition this arm here, pull up, and pull down. And then from here we can settle into a side control or even a north-south position. So we're here, cup in the thigh, and we're down tight, right against the body, okay? We're gonna cup in this elbow or grab the wrist, whatever you gotta do to make sure this thing is not closed. And again, bomb, pull, pull. Once he's on his side, don't stop here. We're gonna go ahead and grab up on the shoulder and pull down. And if you notice, I'm working my way progressively here to um, almost a diagonal angle. This way, in case the guy does have some really good legs, I'm not here in the side, and this leg comes in front of me and does something. I wanna be down lower here, so now I can get down into position. And like I said, you can set up north-south chokes, or you can start to attack the arm. Here, here, cut the elbow, bump a little bit into the hip, pull, pull. More of a, it's, it's more of a jiu-jitsu move using sort of a wrestling technique. Um, it's not the most graceful move, but it works against a guy that's maybe you know a very good guard guy who has those active legs and continuously turtles and rolls back into guard, that sort of thing.